Hello guys, welcome. So, um, I have a, a very simple, um, uh, let's say, a application here, right? Where a user can input some text and then output that text right here. But I also want to add a, a bit of um, improvement to uh, less the output of what the users inputted, and that should be uh, whenever there is a link inside the text, it should output uh, as an actual link where the user can click to it and then move on to uh, wherever that page is right and this is actually quite useful because let's take for example on youtube right um you see in the description of a video there are so many links over there right but usually not everybody is entering like typing in the link itself it's just simply to just like have a text like this right and youtube is able to detect all the links inside that text and then what outputs uh, show it as an actual link in the video's description right so i want to have that similar functionality here right so that's why i have a very very simple uh, form uh, application here right, in which i'm going to demonstrate um, not all of it but how most of the times you can what gain that uh, uh, what functionality right and you can use it for your own projects as well especially when you are building blocks and stuff like that right? this could be very very useful right so let's get into it so here I have my simple react application so I have my app component right in the text area and I have a text component right which just in this case is outputting the text itself all right so um we want to what so it's grabbing the text from the what the text area and then what output it right so this is where i would like to make the updates to the what or the uh, change the output of the content right and to show an actual link where a user can click and move to right okay so how do we go about that right um, there are a couple of ways that we could go about that, but I'm going to uh, try uh, use the very simple word approach, which is to look at every word in the word, the text, and then check to see if that word is what uh, a link or a URL or not. Right? Which is the simplest approach you can get to, but that could uh, is the simplest approach, but I would not recommend it for a very very large word document for example that has over 50,000 words a uh, million words no that, that's not what uh, useful in that case but for a very very simple word text like the one that I have here uh, it could be very very what useful in that case but it's very very simple right? now so how do we go about what um getting every single word in the word the text the inputted text right uh, we could and we could use a function called split right which is what uh, one of the functions uh, methods that is added to what a string the string object right so in javascript you can split what the uh, string into whatever that you want right and we know that for a word it's just a combination of what letters right and there is no space in it right so that means a word right? so in this case i'm going to have my words right so i'm going to grab all the words in what the content right so i have my content and sorry since we are using typescript we know that for content it must always be what a string right so uh, type scripts can really benefit you in building what we at applications right uh, I would recommend if you are building very very large applications I would 
recommend that you use TypeScript for it, right? Because it will save you a ton of trouble from what's happening, right? Okay, so I have content, right? And then I can grab what the split function, right? So split and VS Code is giving us what intelligence of that, right? So we have split, and then I would like to split by what the species, right? We know that's what. Yeah, it's a word, right? Words don't contain spaces, right? Yeah, so we split by what the space, right? Now we have words, which is now what an array of what strings, right? An array of what string. Now we want to us now we want to uh, iterate through each of the words, right? And check to see if that word is what a link or not, right? So we can simply do that here, uh, right? So I'm simply going to use um, the map function, right? Because now it's an array, so I can just loop through it, right? And we have what word, right? So we grab the word, right? Which in this case is just a string, right? So it's a word, and now I want to check to see if this word is a string or not, right? And there are a few ways you can go about it, but uh, the way the way that I prefer is to use what a regular expression, right? Because regular expressions are very very good at catching various uh, things like this, right? Sometimes the link, uh, what the link would not be formatted properly. Right, if you use maybe other things, it could not uh, properly what uh, verify if it's a string or not. But regular expressions can really yeah, save your time. Right? So I have written a regular expression down. Right, so I'm just going to copy and paste it here. Yeah, I don't want to bore uh, bore you guys with these long uh, what regular expressions. Right, it can be very very tedious when you are dealing with them. But they can save you a ton of time, right? Right. So now, what do I want to do? So now I have my regular expression. I simply just do what. So I would like to first return, obviously, right? And I'll check if the word, oh no, if the word matches or match what our URL regular expression. So if the word matches or our regular expression. Then I would like to what I return a link, uh, an anchor tag, right? If not, I would just like to return what the word. Uh, sorry, word. So I like to return the word. Oh, sorry, should get rid of this one. That's good. Right. Now I want to return the component, right? So in this case, I'm just going to say is an anchor tag right and the ref so the ref is the ref attribute is where you are linking that uh, website to right where is it being linked to right so in this case i'm just going to place in the word over here right because the word is what the link itself right yeah so we have the word and then i'll bring in what's my word here so i have this i can save that and then check uh, the browser again, right? Ah, nice. So you can see that we have uh, our link here, right? So HTTPS, GitHub, so blah, blah, blah. Right? So it, it was able to detect that this was actually what a link. So if I get rid of it, you can see that everything else is not a link. So we're just going to place it there, right? But you can see that we are having this uh, problem. All the words are what put together, right? Because there's what split does what is to, it will get rid of uh, all the space because we are using a space to check for quotes, right? So it will split the words and remove all the spaces in there, right? But we want to keep what the spaces, right? So we would like to go back to our code, right? And let's uh, make some improvement to what we have right now. So in this case, for each word, right? For let's say at the end of a word, I would like to add a space. Sorry, a space there, right? So I add my word, and 
at the end of here of the link i would like to put a space there right um but we can't simply do this right it doesn't work right uh, react will just get rid of what whatever this is right oops let's add a space okay let's see if that and let's let's see how react uh, handles this right you see what's happening here it's seeing it as an object right seen as an object but meanwhile it's not an object it's it should be what a component right it should be what a component right so in order to combat that we simply wrap our link uh, inside a fragment right so, and with the latest version of react or since react 18 or the system not really sure it could write a fragment simply by just putting some anchor brackets so empty so now we can get rid of that this is dead so we save that then we check then we can see that's what our, our link is there so when you click on it it will take you towards the page right so in this case I, I click on it now you can see that it has moved towards the actual link in there